Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you've seen in a few seconds before this clip, uh, my trailer was hooked to a Dodge and leaving the driveway. And I don't own a Dodge, so that means that I sold my trailer, finally sold my trailer. Um, he took the winch with it. I dragged all my chains and whatnot out of it and got a board for him. But well, I didn't have to replace the board, so save time out of my day i just bought it so that's good but right now i'm on the road headed down south to a trailer place um because i don't think my uh orange trailer is gonna be ready anytime soon or it might be down here i don't know but i'm just headed down here if uh it ain't gonna be ready anytime soon then i'm gonna just get a, a different one tell them screw that one um, but yeah I'm headed down and hopefully they have a big selection I looked on Facebook and on their website look like they have a couple different options for me so that's sweet I got a bunch of cash for them so hopefully I uh, don't leave empty-handed um, hopefully I'll be pulling a trailer back home with me so cuz I I can't seem to go a day without a trailer the last trailer I had that I sold, I needed a new one the next day, so I had to go buy a new one. And Hopefully this Diamond C is sweet, and I don't want to get rid of it anytime soon. Um, so, I guess you'll look forward to seeing a review video on this trailer, whether it's uh, worth the money on it or not. Um, but if they don't have one on the lot, then I'm going to tell them to get me either get me that orange one coming here pronto or whenever their next shipment is of uh, other trailers comes in get mark my name on one um, and I guess I'll borrow a trailer like I did when I first started out so I should be only a 10 minutes away from the trailer place so I guess I'll either uh, pick you guys up when I'm pulling in there and uh, give you a quick glance of their trailers or pick you guys up when I get headed on home so I guess I'll probably probably try to pick you guys up there so I guess I'll see you there oh I'm seeing trailers that's a good sign I think I must have must have made it see a bunch of trailers actually it's a good sign you gotta pull into the DG here find the uh, trailer I'm going to DG to pay nah I'm just messing with you guys trailer place behind DG but see there's a hydraulic dovetail right there and a couple others over there I guess I will uh, get out and see if I can't find something and then go inside and uh, see what the deal is so I guess I'll pick you guys up when I find something out well, here it is, guys. I made it home last night. It's not orange, but uh, it'll do for now. Um, threw my chains and whatnot in there already in the box. And uh, I need to hit the road. I'm on a, in a hurry to get to an auction. Not sure how uh, uh, busy Indy's going to be, so I need to get on the road. So I guess I'll uh, pick you guys up when I get in the truck because it's cold out here. Where is it cold this morning? Nine degrees out here at eight o'clock. Um, but yeah, yesterday I headed down to the trailer place as you guys saw. I picked up this 35 footer. Um, so it's a lot longer. My driveway is pretty narrow. So I might have to get a little used to uh, getting backed in the driveway now um, with this trailer because it turns a lot wider as well. Um, but I'm gonna be doing a trailer review on this trailer uh probably after like a month of use um but pulling it home yesterday i tell you what this is the smoothest pulling trailer i have ever pulled in my life well worth the uh extra money that i had to spend on it instead of that cheap trailer men brand um but yeah right now i'm headed to auction figure out to throw that in this video as well just because um this video wasn't very long 
um, since I'm not going to do like a trailer review in this video since I haven't uh, done much with this trailer yet. But overall, just pulling it home yesterday. I'm loving it. Um, so I guess maybe I'll get a load here today bought and uh, try it out for the first time. Um, I hate new trailers though because you scratch the paint. It looks so nice now, but once you pull one load, you're scratching paint and whatnot. But oh well. Um, I at least have new brakes and new tires, so, and a name brand, um, so, I guess I'm gonna, uh, throw my seatbelt on here real quick, after I put the phone down, um, and, uh, get on the road to the auction yard, it's about an hour away, it starts at nine, and there's a couple tractors I'm interested in that probably sell first, so, I wanna get there first, and then I'll be there for most of the day, and, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll pick you guys up when I'm pulling up to the auction yard. Made it here to the auction. Been watching a bunch of stuff sell inside. Quite a bit here. Watched Alice 185 just sell for $9,500, which is crazy. But waiting on Junk Road to sell now. Got this loader here. As it is, not sure what's wrong with it. Fire damage. That's what's wrong with it. Um, but yeah, a bunch of bunch of junk out here. Tons of combine tractors. Everything you can think of out here. Uh, not much Alice and Dead, or there ain't no Alice and Dead row. They got a couple of masses. I'm gonna watch stuff and uh, see if we can't get them off. So, this is the junk row that's all that new in here soon. It's still freaking cold out here. So, Let's see if I can't freeze to death. And, Back in my warm truck and go on home. But see what these masses go for. See if I can't get a bot down here. Maybe this deer that you see in front of me. And uh, take them home with me, hopefully. So I guess I'll pick you guys up. Well, oh, guys, sorry, you only got a little short clip there about the auction. But um, I'm on my way home right now. I've been there all freaking day. I'm frozen. But I got a load of junk bot. It's currently 410. Took two hours to load. Normally they're pretty quick but they were just cram packed today. So that's fine. I have patience. So uh, it was fine to wait the two hours. I'd rather wait the two hours than drive all the way back down there. Um, even though it's only like 45 minutes from the house, but going around Indy is just a pain in the butt. Um, so I'd rather just grab it all in one trip, but I got a another Massey coming in. And then I got a couple other things coming in that you don't really see me haul in much so pretty pumped about that and uh, i probably will i'll show you guys when i get home still got quite a ways away and i gotta stop and get fuel so um yeah i guess i will uh pick you guys up when i get home but also another thing this trailer this trailer i can already tell you the review video is probably gonna be good because this trailer is so smooth I mean, I've only pulled it four times now, but whew, this thing is smooth. But yeah, I'm gonna hit the gas station and uh, then head on home and pick you guys back up and show you what I got. And uh, as you can tell, I made it home. Went inside and ate some food because I was starving. Didn't eat much today, but uh, made it home with my load. And I don't think I scratched my trailer up too bad. Still looks pretty new for the most part. Um, Try and keep this one as nice as possible for as long as possible. But I guess we'll start at the front of the load here and uh, show you what I got. Um, there was a bunch of Kubota parts at the auction. And, uh, well, I might've bought every single Kubota part they had. Um, so there's a uh, BX2380 platform thingy, a hood for a B. 2301 um some fenders for who knows what another hood over there and a grill piece and then uh, on the trailer here we got a hood for an m5 111 one set of fenders in there and then another extra fender for something a uh, rtv rooftop rear uh dump bed door a door and a few other things and then here's a dump bed 
for Kubota. Um, but I'll probably, um, in this video, get everything unchained and uh, show you all of the Kubota stuff so you guys have an idea. And it'll probably all be put on eBay. And uh, you can buy it off there. But uh, next up, we got a Massey Ferguson 245. Overall, ain't in terrible shape. It looks kind of funky because paint's peeling off. Um, but this tractor supposedly runs, but knocks. So get her pushed in the garage, let her warm up, and uh, see if it knocks or not. If it does, you, you know what will happen that one. Um, yeah, it's going to get parted out unless someone buys it complete but if i look at it this motor looks like to be about the same as that massey uh 35 that i just parted out the oil pan looks the exact same had the power steering pump thing right there i think that's pretty similar to the massey 35 motor i just parted out huh well i have some few good parts off that tractor so maybe we could fix her up maybe i don't know but and then on the back here we got a skid loader here first skid loader i ever bought um for parts anyways and i guess we'll see how well it does never parted out a skid loader um but these models here l785 seemed to be a, a popular model back in the day so I'm sure people still need parts off of these and uh i think it'll be do pretty decent um but yeah there no bucket came with it as you see it is the way it came um, pretty rough all around the edges for the most part rims are solid but for the most part it is a parts machine it is a diesel as you guys can tell and uh one new tire right there just popped off the bead off pop that back on the bead but other than that it looks to be complete except for the side shields um and yeah the massey's complete and then we got all these uh Kubota parts looks like the door left side door for an rtv 1100 so if you need a left side door for rtv 1100 let me know rooftop and uh yeah so i guess i will uh set you guys on the tripod now and uh get all the ratchet straps off of the Kubota parts and then um i'll show you guys a little more in depth of uh what Kubota parts i got so if you guys are interested in them then you can shoot me a message and uh yeah purchase them so i guess i'll set you guys on the tripod now and get to work Got all the Kubota parts out of my bed and off the front of my trailer here. Got them all laid out in a pile for you guys. Um, but first off, we got a BX2380 platform piece here. Brand new. Um, don't see no flaws in there or anything. Next, we have this uh, side piece, which I'm not sure what model it's for, um, but it's plastic goes underneath the hood for a smaller Kubota model. Um, next up, we have a BX268 Kubota hood. Missing the front piece and one of the side, other sides there. Uh, bracket, not sure if it's like mower deck bracket or what that is. Front screen, not sure what model it fits. Um, a B2301 Kubota hood. No front grill. It does have a ding and let's see this side. Yeah, there's a dent right there in the, where the two's at. Um, but it's a new hood, just has a flaw. Um, not sure what that piece fits. Uh, I think it's for 
something I, I can't remember what model that side piece fits but next up we got an m5 111 tractor hood and then here we have some it says on the box somewhere yeah right here b2601 fenders left and right brand spanking new little flaws in the paint but nothing that can't be touched up all right here we have some bigger fenders not sure what these fit i think there's a model somewhere right here these are for a 4701 yeah 4701 kubota i got one set and then an extra fender both are all brand new as well here we have a rear tailgate for RTV, probably 1100 or something like that. Does have a flaw in the plastic piece right there. But other than that, it's a dang nice door or tailgate, I mean. In this box here, we have a bunch of goodies. So we open this up here. We have a brand new inner door panel i think is what this is um or outer couldn't tell you um and then there's another door for rtv 1100 kubota but it's beat up a little i think down there um this was probably a new part for this door um, so if you need a door there's a door for you i can ship it it's all ready to go in the box and everything Right here we have another door. Not sure what it fits or what it's for. Um, but it's complete in good shape as well. And then we have this roof here. Not sure if it's for RTV 1100 Kubota or not. That piece goes with it. Um, but it's, it's metal. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Looks to be like all the Kubota parts that I hauled in. Um, if you guys are interested in any of these Kubota parts, shoot me an email. Find me on Facebook. Find a way to get in contact with me. Um, and we can figure out price and uh, shipping quotes or pick up as well. Um, I guess there is another uh, bed as well. I think it's used, but it's in very good shape. Um, I think it's for a 1100 Kubota as well. Um, so yeah, I guess if you guys need Kubota parts, let me know. Um, and I can get them coming your way. And uh, it's supposed to be a lot warmer tomorrow. And uh, it's getting dark. So I'm going to pick you guys back up tomorrow when I go to unload these. And uh, yeah, go from there. So I'll pick you guys up tomorrow. Alrighty guys, so I got my trailer unloaded. Sorry for the crappy footage. It's uh, windier than crap out here today. And uh, I don't have the best tripod. And it blew over three times and uh, cracked the camera on this phone, the screen and the back glass on the uh, phone I'm videoing on right now. Um, as you can tell, that's broke and this piece is broke and this piece is broke. So, if you guys know where to get a nice, durable tripod that doesn't blow over in the wind and ain't a piece of crap, put it down in the comments below. I'd appreciate it because um, I really need one. And now that my phone camera is cracked and my screen is cracked and the back glass is cracked, it's kind of frustrating. I mean, this ain't my main phone. This is just my video phone, but it's still... still frustrating very frustrating um but yeah i got my trailer unloaded i don't think i scratched it too much um i'm charging the battery because uh, i think it zapped it from just sitting on the lot not being used so battery's getting charged right now and uh see if i can't get anything else bought um to use my old trailer again but 
um, I got the Massey pushed over here with all my other junk and uh, I got it running but as is, it says as is runs and this side says as is runs knocks and I got it running and I guess I see if it'll fire up for you guys maybe got full throttle got 3291 hours on her I mean, maybe it needs shot ether. Give her some ether. Whoa! I mean, my ground's disconnected. What a mess. Nothing ever goes smooth here. Okay, let's try her again. She's smoking like crazy. Good, stay running. Knock, 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 knock. Kill this dang thing. So, yeah. I, uh... Um... It does run and drive anyways. Everything seems to work as it should. I ain't ran it too long. Um, just because I knock. really don't want to fling the piston through the side of the block. But, uh... If the knock went in there, I think it'd be a pretty decent tractor. But... I'm going to see if it'll sell complete. If it won't, let am just get it parted out. I know everything's good except for the motor, so that's good on that. So if you guys are interested in that tractor, probably take three grand for it. Um, if it doesn't get parted out before I upload this video. Um, but yeah, that's that tractor. And then over here, we got the skid loader. Having issues with this skid loader. Hydraulic issues, so that's no good. Um, but here's the new holland l785 skid loader and uh i put a battery in this one motor turns over um not sure what's wrong with it if you look in here looks like it's sat for a long long time this thing has 5300 hours 5200 hours on it um but it looks to be in pretty rough shape so one new tire on it just popped off the bead no bucket or anything um tires pretty decent but the back two are shot um, and then i have this piece for it as well but yeah this is either going to be a parts machine unless someone buys it complete i'm asking 3500 bucks for it the way it sits so it's most likely going to be a parts machine which i should make a pretty good youtube video i've never parted out a skid loader so i'd like to see uh what kind of money there is to be made and maybe widen my horizon of parting out stuff anyways maybe get into the construction equipment or whatnot and uh yeah but yeah so i guess if you guys are interested in that skid loader or the massey or any of the kubota parts shoot me a message find me on facebook or whatever um i'm gonna hear the rest of the day here i think i'm gonna lay out those kubota parts and uh, try to get them on ebay here before this video goes live so yeah if you guys are interested in anything Find a way to get in contact with me and we can figure something out um, and go from there. Still waiting on the 920 platform to leave and get paid for. Um, I should be paid for all my stuff by now, but I'm not, which is a little frustrating, but that's all right. 7030 is still sitting over here too. Um, if I don't receive payment this week, then I'll call my rep and tell them to freeze their accounts. But gotta do what you gotta do um so yeah i guess if you guys are interested in anything you see on the channel or what i hauled in today shoot me a message and uh, i'll get get in touch with you and shoot you some prices so i guess that's gonna be a wrap for today's video hopefully you enjoyed getting the trailer and then going auctioning and uh me bringing home more goodies so if you did enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button for me if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't already, go grab yourself a pair of Brunt Workwear boots. This is the last time I'm going to be uh, 
talking about them. Um, but they're lightweight and comfy. Um, I have zero complaints with them. So, yeah. So, if you want a pair um, or some clothes or whatever they got, um, use Bowman 10 at checkout to get $10 off your order. And, uh, yeah. So, you won't regret them. I know that. Um, so, yeah, I guess thanks for watching. I'll catch you all on the next one.